Hi there, and welcome to Lesson 11. In this lesson, we're going to learn about object snaps, typically referred to as O-snaps, as well as a few other modeling aids. Okay, If you want to follow along, go ahead and open up number 11, lesson number 11 on the course page, and we can get started. Okay, Now, there are a few different types of O-snaps, and what O-snaps allow you to do is to do things like snap or connect to a very specific part of a line or a curve or a very specific part of a piece of geometry. Okay, it also allows you to start in exactly the right position. Okay, now really good and proper modeling, like for example, if I wanted to build a rectangle, okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw this without any object snaps on, you know, because you don't know what they are yet. But if I wanted to draw a rectangle, and I hit shift and then I drew a line and I repeated that line again I would want to zoom way in here and try and start my line hold down shift again okay hit the space bar start again and I'm holding down shift so I could be nice and exact boy that's a long line and now I have to try and figure out what's directly above that. Oh, maybe there. And then I'll draw one more line. Going to the end, holding down shift and drawing up to the end a little bit. Now, if we zoom out, that looks like it's a pretty good looking line, right? But if I zoom way in here, you'll notice that that, believe it or not, is a pretty sloppy line. Okay, same thing. So I zoom out and zoom in here. You can see how these lines are not exact. Okay. Now, if lines are not exact, if lines do not start and finish exactly at the end, you won't be able to join them, right? So if I go ahead and I zoom back into my object and I use my crossing window and I select everything and I hit my join command over here, which we learned about in the last lesson, join you'll notice four curves are joined into one closed curve. Okay, so they are actually joined, but they're not is what's called a closed curve. So if I was to take that curve, even though it looks good, like I said, it's pretty sloppy. There's no way I could really build anything terribly tangible with that. Right now, for example, if I, I'm going to go ahead and close these like that. And if I do some really sloppy modeling, here and another one here and I try and join these two it's going to say it's unable to join those curves right now if I have three of them and I select everything and I hit the join command it's also going to tell me it's unable to join those curves so there is a little bit of tolerance that uh, Rhino will deal with but you don't want, for the most part, you really don't want to get in the habit of creating open curves. Okay, so let's talk about how we can use these O snaps or those, these object snaps to allow us to start or end a line in the exact correct place. Okay, now, right down here at the bottom of my command line, there's something that says grid snap, ortho snap, planar, O snap, smart track, gumball, record history. All right. Now, the things that we're going to learn about today are object snaps. There is also something called the grid snap, and I'll show you that right now before I get into O snaps. The grid snap, for the most part, is not a particularly useful thing, or it can be useful, but I find it more distracting uh, for the most part. So what the grid snap will do, if I click on that and I make those things bold, and I'm going to go to my point command, is every time your cursor hovers over a point on the grid, it's going to stop. So the only place that I could ever draw a point would be on this grid, which again could be useful, maybe not, right? But if I want to say draw a line in the middle here of this grid, it's not going to allow me to start or stop for that matter anywhere but on a grid okay so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and I'm gonna disengage the grid snap 
That'll probably be the last time you ever see me using the grid snap. It is useful from time to time, but you'll I very rarely use it. All right. Now, what an end snap will do is it will allow you. Now we're going to talk about the object snaps. Um, in fact, before I jump into what an end snap will do, I'm going to show you how to find the object snaps. That makes a lot more sense. I'm going to go down here to where it says grid snap ortho planar, and I'm going to click on O snap. And when I click on O snap, you'll notice I'll get all of these little words here that say n near point mid sen int perp tan quad not vertex pro project and disable. Okay. Now I'm going to go through these one at a time. Okay. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is cover the end snap. Right now, nothing has a check by it, so nothing is enabled. If I click on the end snap, and now I'm going to go ahead and draw a line, uh, draw a polyline. If I click on the end snap, now when my cursor gets near the end of an object here, it actually says, hey, you are snapped to the end of that object. And if I go over here, you are snapped to the end of the object. So what I can do is I can click, I can click again, and then go down to the end of that object and click a third time. Okay. I can also snap to an end of where a polyline is. And this is a rectangle, but it's still a polyline there. Right? And I can also snap to that end, that end, that end. Okay? Enter. So those are end snaps. So end snaps can be, and I'm just going to go ahead and take this one curve here and delete it. So ends can be the ends of single lines. They can be where polylines intersect. They can be at the corners of things like um, rectangles. I'm going to uncheck the end now, and I'm going to click on the near. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to drawing another polyline. And what a near will do is it will allow you to snap anywhere on a curve, anywhere on an object. Okay, notice I'm hovering over that and it's saying near. Near is useful if you just need to co connect to a line, for but for the most part, it can be a little distracting, right? Now, because I uncheck the end snap, it's not actually telling me, even though that very well could be at the end, it's not actually telling me that it's at the end. If I click them both, so the end and the near are both snapped, you'll notice here I'm on the near, and then I get to the end, and now it says the end. Near and end. Near and end. Okay? Same thing here. Near snap on this curvy curve. And clicking on the end. Okay. So, what we're going to look at now is a point snap. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the end, uncheck the near, check the point, and now using my polyline command, anywhere that there's a point, I can actually snap to and meet every single point. So a lot of times I'll use points as references, I'll use points as um, starting points. Now you notice here on this rectangle there are no points. Because there's no points, there's nowhere else that it's going to want to snap except for the actual point. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the point. In fact, I'm going to start the video, or I'm going to stop the video right here, and then in the next lesson, we're going to finish the second half of it. Thanks very much.